guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be doing the perfect winter slash Christmas makeup tutorial for you guys I ask you guys what type of videos you would like to see and I got so many requests for Christmas makeup tutorials holiday makeup tutorials I definitely would check out my Instagram for more kind of Christmas holiday inspired looks but I did want to bring at least one to YouTube so on my Instagram story which is at Morgan Turner makeup I did post about last week or so I went to a holiday or a winter wedding and and this was the makeup look that I wore and I just thought it was the perfect look for the holidays so if you want to see how I did this look then just keep watching alright so for the first thing I'm going to use on my skin is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter I have mine in the shade number one I'm just going to put that on the high points of my face to add a little bit of glow because I really want to be super glowy and shiny for this holiday look already got some on my outfit cool so I'll start off with about that much and then I'm going to kind of blend that in with my sponge not kind of I'm obviously uh am blending it in with my sponge this is a newer product that I've been working into my routine I really like it I really like how shiny it makes me look but it's also very subtle at the same time a little bit more and then I don't know I've just been kind of applying it everywhere to be honest I look a little bit like sweaty but I almost like that it makes me look sweaty <laughs> I mean, do you see that? Amazing! Now, on that specific day, I used my Dior Air Flash foundation because that's my favorite event foundation. I always wear that for special occasions, but I have this fear of wasting it. So today, I'm just going to use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which is a beautiful, long-wearing foundation. Now to give a cheaper alternative, I also really like the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I feel like it has a similar feel on the skin as the Luminous Silk foundation does, but it's like $7 versus however much the Luminous Silk is. Maybelline Fit Me is also a really good alternative. So for concealer, lately I have been in love with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It has a lot of coverage, but it also isn't super drying. I don't apply too much of this just because it does have a lot of coverage to it, so it blends out very easily. A little goes a really long way with this concealer. So my base is looking so flawless right now. For my under eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. This is one of my favorite under eye setting powders, especially for events because you don't get a flashback because it is a colored powder. It really sinks into the skin. I don't know, it's just a really fantastic formula and it's only a few bucks. Can't go wrong with this powder. I am going to take a little bit of the La Mer powder, which is... If you know anything about that powder, it is ridiculously expensive, but I do like to use the La Mer powder for special occasions. So normally I wouldn't set my foundation to really keep the skin looking pretty and luminous, but for an all day event, which is what I wore it to, I did have to set it just, you know, I don't want to look sweaty if it's an all day event. Plus that powder is the most nice powder I've ever used so so as a whole for this look I really wanted to keep definition to a minimum I didn't want too heavy of contour or anything. so I'm just gonna use a light amount of bronzer I'm going to use the Too Faced sweet tea bronzer this has a little bit of a shimmer to it it's amazing um I've slowed down on using it I used to use it every day but it's still every time I use it I'm like why did I put it down so we're mainly just putting this down so that my face isn't one color but I'm not really looking for any sort of contouring or shaping of my face going on maybe a little bit on the jawline though for blush I wanted to go with something that was a lot more subtle so I decided to go for the essence satin touch blush in the shade satin coral this was in my newest haul and most recent tutorial actually it's just a really gorgeous blush 
and it's only like two three dollars which is crazy but i just wanted to keep it really subtle and really simple as a blush color so for highlighter on that specific day i actually used the anastasia nicole guerrero glow kit but they don't sell that anymore so i did want to find a really good bright highlighter i decided to go with something more affordable so we're going to be using the sleek makeup highlighting palette in solstice so this highlight is really affordable and it's really super glowy you actually want to use a pretty light amount if you're not looking to be insanely glowing but do you see how pretty that is i just think this is so appropriate for the winter time as you can see i brought it up to my temple area for a little bit of extra glow i don't really up go in with product because i don't like it too shiny up there but whatever's kind of left over i will blend it up i don't do this that often but i do for events don't forget to put it like on your cupid's bow and the tip of your nose and blend it up to the bridge okay so we are already ready for the eyes again with the eyes i kept it very simple this look is really really simple just like a simple winter glam so i did only use like two eyeshadow shades so i actually used this light tan shade from the natasha denona mini lila palette honestly though you can use whatever kind of neutral brown camel color that you want so this color you can get from any palette i just happened to grab this Natasha Denona one but I have a billion versions of this brown so it doesn't have to be this brown specifically you can see I'm blending it everywhere with a big fluffy blending brush all over my crease area this is as much definition that we're going to give the eye I really wanted it to be about that glowy lid but I am gonna take a little bit on my lower lash line really quick really fast i'm gonna go back in with that highlighter that we use and i'm gonna highlight underneath the brow bone and then get in the inner corners really fast so next you're gonna want just like a simple shimmery eyeshadow i use the one from the natasha denona purple blue palette i use this crazy silver right here now you can use any silver shade i would recommend using it with a wet brush so you can get that little extra oomph but yeah natasha denona's formula is insane look at that I mean, I'm not telling you to buy a whole Natasha Denona palette for this silver, but I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. And I'm literally just going all over that lid. This isn't like my traditional makeup style where I really like a lot of definition. This look has almost no definition. I really just want to focus on this silver eye, you know? This is one of the best shimmer formulas I've ever tried i wish you guys could get that full in-person effect because whew. i'm also using my finger just to kind of blend that color up into my crease just to make it more of an even fade you could totally stop there but um i don't know how to stop so i'm gonna go in with the stila glitter and glow and diamond dust for the final touches on the eyelid everybody needs to own at least one of these in their collection because for special events you know so i'm just patting a little bit i'm not just putting a bunch on i'm just patting a little bit onto my lid and then spreading it out my finger for a little added pizzazz to the eyelid tell me this isn't the perfect look for winter next i'm going in with the sephora crayon shadow and liner in this just white color use any white eyeliner and i'm lining my lower lash line with that well actually this is my waterline so I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to put on mascara. Just put a straight line of black on my upper lash line. No wing or anything. And then I'm going to apply the Coco Queen B Lashes. These are one of my favorite event lashes. And I will be right back. Oh, hi, aren't these the most amazing lashes you have ever seen? So I didn't do this on this particular day. But I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty how many carats highlighter it's really just a glitter based highlighter there's not much color to it but i'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my cheekbones and wow that was a really good decision all right so that gives it a little extra pizzazz for the holidays obviously you don't need to do that but if you do like a little bit of a glitter highlight there you go that went really well. For lips, I used the Kat Von D Santa Sangri Liquid Lipstick. This is my first time using this particular color. I love the liquid lipsticks. I've bought her sets before. So this is from a set. She does sell this in a full size. And this is just a really great holiday red. For silver looks like this, I love a really bright cherry red lipstick.
and boom i mean that's it this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i just wanted this to be a really simple look that looked very elegant and pretty for the holidays that was also festive but easy for you guys to do so for those of you who asked for christmas tutorials i hope you enjoyed this one and remember to subscribe to my channel for more content i'm trying to upload every day until christmas and i will see you guys tomorrow in the next video bye